Hello again everyone, I'm Joel Norman and once again this is your Toros Report. Today is Wednesday, November 10th, 2021 and while the Mason City Toros are currently in the midst of a stretch of five consecutive days without a game, they were busy last weekend playing three games in as many days. It was a great weekend for the Toros as they swept the weekend slate against the Wilmer Warhawks and then two games against the New Ulm Steel. The Toros scored at least six goals in all three of their wins last weekend to maintain their second place spot in the West Division. Mason City opened the weekend up with a 6-3 win against the Warhawks, but the final score doesn't quite tell the full story. Carter Newpower's second goal of the game at the 8-11 mark of the second period stretched the Toros' lead to 3-1, but Wilmer rallied to score twice in the final nine minutes of the second period. However, Mason City came out flying in the third as Nick Howell scored the game winner at the 2.53 mark before Dylan Schmidt and Newpower scored seven seconds apart with Newpower's goal his third of the game. Campion crosses over to Newpower, Richard, he scores in the hat trick for Carter Newpower! It was a great start to the weekend and a great effort from Carter Newpower as he recorded Mason City's third hat trick of the season and snapped a personal four-game scoreless streak with the big night. Last four games, yeah, I've kind of struggled at the net, hit a few posts here and there. Um, but the major goal was just to just do the right things um, and get the two points that we needed for the big weekend here. Jack Campion and Shota Kaneko both scored a pair of goals the next night in Mason City's 7-3 win over New Ulm. The two Toros both got their first goals of the night in the final three minutes of the first period to give Mason City a lead for good. For the second night in a row, the Toros scored two goals closely together as Campion and Ryan Casper scored 10 seconds apart late in the second period. Newpower added to his big night with two more goals in the Toros' 6-2 win over the Steel last Saturday to secure a 3-for-3 three three weekend. Soda Isogai also found the back of the net twice, including on a tic-tac-toe power play goal in the third period. Colin Hogan and Campion also found the back of the net as Mason City scored five or more goals in a game for the eighth time this season. Following last weekend's action, Jack Campion won the NA3HL's West Division Star of the Week as he scored three goals and added five assists in Mason City's three wins. He becomes the third different Toro to win the award this season, and it's the fourth time that a Toro has taken home the honor as Carter Newpower has won it twice so far this year. So to Isogai lays claim to the other Toro to win a Star of the Week. Campion is tied for the team lead with 13 goals, and he does lead Mason City with 30 points this season. This weekend, the Toros welcomed the Alexandria Blizzard to Mason City for the first time since a season opening series September 25th and 26th. The Toros opened the year with an 8-5 win before capping the weekend with a 3-2 win the next day. New Power scored three goals over the two games and Campion scored twice, including the game winner late in the second game. The Blizzard are in fourth place in the NA3HL West Division and have won four consecutive games. Alexandria is 7-3 in its last 10 games and sits a point out of a tie with Wilmer for third place. The Blizzard have found the back of the net more regularly lately as they have scored at least six goals in each of their last three games and outscored opponents 21-3 in that span. Michael DeBerto recorded a hat trick two games ago in a 6-0 win over New Ulm and Ryan Hadlin has four goals and two assists in the last three games. We hope to see you here at the Mason City Arena this weekend. Saturday's game is the first of a doubleheader as the Toros and Blizzard will face off at 3 p.m. before the North Iowa Bulls take on the Austin Bruins at 7.30 p.m. Saturday's Toros game is the Five for Fighting promotional night as Mason City will have kids tickets available for $5 and draft beers are two for $5 as well. Sunday's game is Sunday Fun Day with a puck drop coming up at 6 p.m. and beer is $1 off all game long. Tickets are available now at MasonCityToros.com or at the gate here at the Mason City Arena. Thanks for tuning in for this week's Toros Report. I'm Joel Norman.